Lisa G with your tasty life and today I'm going to share with you four tips to unjunk your pantry. The first tip is to scrutinize food labels. Look at the ingredient list and make sure that you can pronounce the items in that ingredient list, that these ingredients are normally things you carry in your pantry. Is it something your grandmother would have in her pantry? Is it something your great grandmother would have in their pantry? You get the drift. Wholesome foods are made with simple ingredients that don't require a science degree to figure out what's in your food. So scrutinize those labels. The next thing that I want to tell you to do is to ditch all processed food. Processed food has a slew of sketchy ingredients. High fructose corn syrup, which is a genetically modified corn that is highly processed and dumped into a lot of food. Monosodium glutamate is a flavor enhancer that when individuals consume it regularly, they are three times more likely to be overweight because this flavor enhancer can increase your appetite by 40%. All forms of sugar are not great in excess. One in particular I'm sure you've heard about high fructose corn syrup, which is a highly processed corn that is made from genetically modified corn and it's laced in many foods in the supermarket. Be sure to avoid it. Lastly, avoid all artificial coloring, such as red number 40, which is derived from petroleum for Pete's sake. It's been linked to hyperactivity in children, it's a potential carcinogen related to some animal studies, and there's simply better ways to color our food with plant-based extracts such as paprika or beetroot. What we're going to do instead is stock up our pantry on staples, such as all sorts of nuts and seeds, wonderful kinds of beans, tuna, salmon, sardines, clean soups, clean sauces, and clean snack bars. Last but not least, we are going to get an oil change. We're going to toss those inflammatory oils like corn oil and soy oil and vegetable oil for organic coconut oil, as well as high quality, ideally organic, extra virgin olive oil. By selecting the right type of oil, you're decreasing the inflammation in your body, Select extra virgin olive oil when you're not heating the oil, such as when making a salad dressing. When cooking and using heat, select coconut oil. It is a natural antibacterial, antiviral, antiparasitic due to the lauric acid in the coconut oil. I hope these tips helped you today. Check out YourTastyLife.com for more great tips. See you soon.